This page on Microsoft Edge browser is extremely dangerous and I'll tell you why. If you first open Microsoft Edge, you will be greeted with this screen with a bunch of articles and weird looking images from around the web. You'll see a lot of articles from reputed news agencies, right? So you may be thinking, this all looks fine, maybe a little clickbaity, but what's the problem? Well, this is the problem. You see this ad? Second income from a minimum investment, and it even shows like a prominent public figure. Wait, it takes me to India today? Even though the URL says wickedagency.media or something? What's going on? Did India today outsource their news article to these guys? I mean, it seems very kind of realistic, I guess. They have this almost realistic screenshot of uh, Sadhguru talking to someone and there's this weird watermark of activate windows on the side. You should have done a better job with your Photoshop skills. But anyways, apparently it's promoting some cryptocurrency trading platform where you can in invest some money. Sadhguru does it, I guess. And you get the idea. It's a whole article kind of disguised to make it sound like big people are talking about it. But if you take any one of those images and do a reverse Google search using the image search, you'll see a lot of other shady results using the exact same images. You see, if I click on any of those other links, they're all pretty shady websites which have been identified and blocked. But anyway, let's come back to our India Today article and uh, let's click on something. No matter where I click, it seems to be going to this site, this the Trade Safe app site. I don't know what this is. No matter where I click, whether it's live TV or app, it keeps going to the same website. It's asking me to sign up for something which I'm not gonna do. So let's explore this safe trade app thingy. I mean, first of all, we're off to a bad start. This agency is replicating uh, another agency. No one does that, at least not anyone who's, you know, reputed. But if I look at who exactly is this wicked agency media, they're exactly what you think. They are a marketing agency. And there's nothing wrong with that. Basically, how these agencies work is that you as a client will go to them and say, hey, I have this product. I want you guys to market it in this way. Either you leave the marketing to them or you give them ideas on what you want. Now, I don't know who's behind this misleading India Today fake site marketing, but if it was the agency's decision, then I'm disappointed in you guys. You know, wicked agency, shame on you. You clearly know that that's misleading and that's fake. No reputed company or reputed trading site will do that. Think about it. If BitBot app or something was actually legit, why would they kind of fake market themselves in another bigger agency's name? Absolutely makes no sense, right? So yeah, I think this wicked media, it's very aptly named. They are pretty wicked and not the good kind of wicked, the way British people say, the bad kind. They are from London. So in London, wicked means good in a way, you know, like it's like cool or sick. But no, in this case, wicked is something else. Let's take a look at this trading site thingy, who this is. Okay, it was registered back in December. That's not that long ago. Usually sites that are fairly new are not a good news. And there's a phone number as well. Let's do a quick search of that. Oh, there you go. There's a scam report immediately. Yep, looks like they were scam calling people as well. So they have been reported a bunch of times. Oh man, it's from Iceland. Unexpected. I thought the number would be maybe Bulgaria or some other country. They also have a plus three, five something. Country doesn't matter. Scammers are everywhere. So yeah, just something I noticed, you know, these kind of ads are hiding among legit ads. Like see, for example, this one, the Fateh something university, it's legit. If I go to their website, they seem like a real business. So <laughs> these fake ads are disguised among the real ones. So just to be safe, don't click on any of those. And in fact, I recommend going to settings on your Edge browser's home screen and just disable disabling content altogether. Now, you may be asking, wait, why are you even using Edge browser? It's because of Microsoft's new, you know, trump card, their Bing chat. It's actually really good. I use Bing chat a lot for research purposes. Nice. Yeah, I mean, actual research purposes to find some data online. And it's really good compared to chat GPT. It's a lot more useful because it can search the internet. If you want, I'll make a separate video on how to use Bing chat to speed up your online searching or whatever. L let me know if you want to see that, but don't bother with the home screen. Just keep it like this, nice and clean, and you'll be much safer.